Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And remember, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on. We have everything here for you to win every single time. So we're going to take a look at the NBA schedule for February the 22nd. And as we're heading down to the last quarter of the season, there's still plenty of action to be played and plenty of playoff positioning to be had. So let's take a look at some of the key matchups for the for the week. And remember, if you're not already uh, a member, please join and you'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section with all these excellent uh, tools here to help you make your picks. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of our games. First game I want to look at is the Sacramento Kings and the Los Angeles Clippers. In Los Angeles, the Clippers hold the third seat in the Western Conference and have a 22 and 5 record at home. They host the Kings who have struggled to 10 and 18 on the road. Los Angeles, if you look here at the power rankings indicator, has a clear advantage of plus 21 to plus 12, although both teams are on a little bit of a downward trend. The head-to-head -head matchups for the season, you can see that two teams have split the meetings, both winning games by wide margins on the road. Look at the status right now. The Kings are averaged down. They have lost their last two and have won three out of their last six. The Clippers are also averaged down. They have also lost their last two and they are three and three over their last six as well. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you will see that the Kings are playing in games trending over the line. And you will see that the Clippers are playing in games trending other the line at the moment. So what does that mean? It's probably best to over to avoid the over-under in this situation because they are trending on opposite sides of the line. If you take a look at their uh, stability at the moment, total predictor, you see that the Clippers are the more stable team at the moment at plus 22 compared to plus 9. And what that means is that they're performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. There's a little chance, I think, for the Kings to actually compete for all four quarters in this one. I would go with the Clippers to win, pulling away late in the game. Go down through here. Let's take a look at the Dallas Mavericks and the Atlanta Hawks. The Mavericks look to improve their seventh seeding in the Western Conference against the Hawks, who are just 15 and 41 overall and an abysmal 9 and 17 at home. Dallas, on the other hand, has a, a solid 18 and 8 road mark. If you look at the power rankings indicator, they have an, an advantage of plus 15 to plus 4. Both teams are on a little bit of a downward trend. If you look at the head to head matchups. You can see that the teams played back on February the 1st with Dallas winning by 23 points at home. Dallas's average status at the moment, they have won two out of their last three and three out of their last six. While the Hawks are ice cold down, you can see they have lost their last two, giving up a lot of points in the process. They give up a lot of points most games, in fact. So let's take a look at the Taurus predictor. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that Dallas is playing in games trending way over the line. Atlanta is playing in games trending over the line as well, so you can expect a very high-scoring game in this one. So it was a very safe play, I believe, to bet the over. If you look at the stability, you will see that Atlanta is one of the more stable teams in the league. They're at plus 28, and Dallas is at plus 10. Atlanta is likely going to be a home underdog in this one. Dallas is a considerably better team, and because of that and the stability factor, I think Dallas should win this one rather easily on the road. Go down here and take a look at the Phoenix Suns and the Chicago Bulls. Phoenix is 18, or excuse me, they're 11 and 18 on the road, and they head into Chicago to face the Bulls, who have also struggled, and they are just 11 and 16 at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that neither team is high as as expected. You see that Phoenix is at plus 8, a little bit higher than the Bulls, who are currently at plus 4. Head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that the two teams have not played yet this year. This is the first meeting between the teams. If you're considering the over and under, take a look at Phoenix. They are playing in games trending just slightly under the line, the red line compared to the blue line. If you look at Chicago, though, they are playing in games trending way over the line at, at plus 8 compared to the blue line. So because of that, I think that this will be a high-scoring game, and I think it's a very safe play to bet the over. If you look at the volatility, how stable are the two teams? 
Phoenix not very stable, just plus five, so take it a little bit with a grain of salt according to their favorite underdog status. But you consider the Bulls' favorite underdog status more heavily because they are plus 23 in this category. You can see neither team is playing particularly well lately. The Suns are ice cold up, and you can see but this. They have won just two out of their last six, although and their last game was a win against uh, Golden State. The Bulls are dead stats. They have lost their last six, and they are going nowhere fast. But, you know, I believe that since Chicago is playing at home and neither team is particularly great, I think that the Bulls will have an advantage at home, and I think that that will give them enough to give them a win in this first meeting between the teams this season. The Philadelphia 76ers and the Milwaukee Bucks. This has the potential to be one of the best games in the weekend. The 76ers are the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. And the Bucks are number one. Philadelphia plays like the best team in the NBA at home. However, they're on the road where they are terrible at just 9-19. and 19. The Bucks dominate at home with a 25-3 and three mark. You see both teams are playing well lately. The 76ers burning hot, winning their last three. Milwaukee is burning hot down. They had won the previous five and lost their last game. One of those five was a win against the 76ers by a 112-101 margin. And... In fact, according to the head-to-head -head matchups this season, you see that both teams have won on the, excuse me, both teams have won at home, both by wide margins. Philadelphia by 12 in the first meeting and Milwaukee by 11 in the second meeting. If you look at the power ranking indicator, the Bucks have an advantage at plus 28, and the 76ers are at plus 20 after down to plus 14 just two weeks ago, so they're trending more in the right direction. If you're considering the over and under, Philadelphia is playing in games slightly over the line. Milwaukee is playing in games trending under the line, and they have been up and down between over and under the line all season long. I'd say probably best to avoid the over and under in this game. How stable are the two teams? You see that Philadelphia is at plus 29, Milwaukee's at plus 38, so both teams are, are really pretty stable, actually very stable as far as that goes. Milwaukee is a home team. They're extremely difficult to beat on the road. Excuse me, extremely difficult to beat at home. I don't think that Philadelphia will have enough for all four quarters to pull off a victory, particularly as how poorly they were playing on the road. So I think the Bucks should win this one, but rather tight game, more tight than the previous two meetings. This is the last game here we're going to look at is probably the game of the day, the Houston Rockets at the Utah Jazz. In this Western Conference battle, the fifth-seeded Rockets take on the fourth-seeded Jazz. So playoff positioning definitely is at stake here in this one. Houston is 15-12 and 12 on the road, while Atlanta is a very excellent 20-5 and 5 at home. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Utah is plus 24 compared to plus 22, so they have a slight edge there. Head-to-head -head for the matchups, you can see here also that uh, the teams have split the meetings, both winning on the road. The last one by a slim one-point margin in favor of the Jazz. Considering the over and under, again, you can see here that Houston is playing in games trending under the line, while Utah is playing in games trending over the line. Typically in this scenario, I avoid betting the over and under because they're on opposite sides of the line. You see how stable the two teams are. I always like to look at this when considering the favorite underdog status. Utah is more stable at plus 24 to plus 13, although both teams are showing relative stability. So take a look with some uh, seriousness as their favorite underdog status. So I'm thinking that the trend will end as far as the road team winning in this series. But let's take a look first of all at their status. Houston has average up at the moment. They have won four out of their last six. Utah is burning hot. They have won their last four, and I think their burning hot status will continue, and I will pick the Jazz to win in this one at home. So before we go here, I want to scroll back up to the top of this page, and I want to show you one great tool that you can use. If you want to look at the top automated systems, if you look at the hot trends here, go to the top automated systems, and when you do that, you will see the best systems right now for your picks. Right now, since we're talking about basketball, you want to select your support, you want to select basketball, you will see the top performing systems. And most of the time, people like to look, uh, that's hockey, excuse me, let's go back to basketball. There we go. And we like to look at the profit here, which is the biggest thing for most people. You can see the first system here, Andrew's system, profit 11640 cents. 
and you can see that there's there's nice things here to look at with the charts as far as the trends go you can see the trust factor percentage average deviation and so on and so forth so you can see a whole bunch of different things that'll help you make your picks more consistently so there you have it i hope you enjoyed the video happy betting this week and we'll see you next time